Well, hello again, everybody. Thank you for tuning in because this is going to be my second video for the day, which is not very common for me to do two videos in a week. I'm going to try to post one every week until we move to Florida and splash our boat after hurricane season. I got some crazy news for you guys today, so stick around and let's get to it. Hi, I'm Quentin. And I'm Christina. What are you doing? And this is Sailing Abroad. We packed up and headed to Florida to get a sailboat with no plan and just a dream. I bought the boat and moved it across Tampa Bay to be hauled out for repairs. As the repairs are being done, we are both working full time, spending time with family and saving money. So stay tuned, like and subscribe as I will be posting often of progress up to launch day. Welcome to Sailing, Sailing Abroad. Abroad. Now, I'm sure as everybody knows that uh, we have Hurricane Fiona south of Puerto Rico. Uh, I think it's projected to go to the west, northwest. After a day or two, we're not quite sure yet, but we'll make sure to keep an eye on that. I will post a picture of it now so you guys will be able to see where it's at at this current moment. This video today is to share an experience I had fishing in, in the ocean. Um, I got put in a hospital uh, I can't remember, it was a year or two ago, um, I was fishing in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, I got stung by what they call a uh, hardhead catfish. I remember when I first caught it, I was like, man, I could catch these things in the Midwest. What am, you know, what's the fun of fishing in the ocean if I can't catch cool fish? Well, I caught a catfish. I mean, gosh, I can catch that in my backyard over here. But um, little did I know that they were poisonous, uh, like number two or number three most poisonous fish in the Gulf. Um, and I, uh, and I think what's funny, um, this is, hello everybody. That's my microphone. So it's in the shot. I guess we just got to accept it, I guess. Cause I'm not, I'm not moving it too much work. But, um, what was funny was whenever I caught this fish, I was like, man, it's a catfish. Wow. Big deal. Right? Well, I did not know they were poisonous. Um, I got him up on the bank. I had him laying on his belly on the sand and, um, uh, I tied a pair of pliers. I was going to take the hook. Well, I had my hand positioned in a way to where when I had the pliers on the hook, I was going to just push the hook out of the out of his upper lip. And when I pushed down, the pliers slipped off that hook. And I literally closed fisted it on that top dorsal fin. Bam! And it stuck me. It stuck me. And I and when I raised my hand up, the fish was hanging off my fist by his dorsal fin. And I grabbed him and I just pulled him out and not knowing anything, I probably should have just cut it off and left it in there and take it to go get x-rayed. But thankfully there was nothing left over. But, um, and after that I, I kept fishing and, and, and as time went on, I'm, I'm talking a matter of minutes. I was like my, my arm, I was like, Whoa, it started getting really painful. I'm saying this is one, like one of the most nastiest, painful pains it was like a a constant uh, I mean I mean it would hurt real bad up to my wrist my hand swelled up like the size of a softball the pain would radiate up my elbow up into my shoulder up into my neck I mean it was painful and I ended up calling my mom and she said that is a poisonous fish and I was like oh man then I started freaking out because I didn't know how bad it was or anything like that and um so I ended up going to the hospital, and I didn't know what kind of fish it was at the moment. I just knew it was a catfish, and uh, I showed them a picture of the fish because I, I took a picture of it. And um, they said, oh, okay, well, get him back right now. They, and, and they, like, rushed me back there. And I'm, like, freaking out, not knowing what was going on and because uh, I thought something bad was happening. I thought I was about to go into cardiac arrest or something. I had no idea. All I know is my arm was hurting bad. And... Um, and in my mind, I was like, man, I'm gonna, am I going to have a heart attack? I mean, what's going on? I mean, has it not kicked in yet? Is the worst not yet to come or something? And come to find out, they just wanted to x-ray my hand real quick and uh, pretty much give me some antibiotic and, and uh, treat the wound a little bit. And they ran hot water over it. And that hot water, I mean, the water was hot. I mean, it was almost to the point where I couldn't stand that hot water from the heat. But it made the pain go away like that. I mean, it went away quick. And um, 
I just thought I'd share that, and um, I will have uh, pictures and stuff like that of it. I mean, I'll have to find them. I might not, but I'll find them, and we'll see where that goes and uh, go from there. Man, the weather's real funky here. It was like thundering and lightning like 10 minutes ago, and now the sun's shining. That's That's weird. But I hope you guys liked my last video, the one I posted earlier today. It was my first time ever in a fishing tournament. I got second place. I actually got cut a check. So that was cool. I got invited to that. And the video before that was, you know, just a day of me at work. And that, that was pretty boring. I mean, my job's pretty boring anyway. I'm sure it was pretty boring for you guys too. But, yeah. <laughs> just content, I guess. But this hurricane, uh, Fiona... I'm not really that worried about it going. I mean, everything still is on schedule for splashing after hurricane season. But right now, she's below Puerto Rico. Um, who knows where it's going? Um, never know. I mean, Dorian wasn't supposed to do what it did either, but it did. Um, I'm not worried about it hitting Florida. I mean, not the Tampa Bay area. I mean, I don't think it's pretty common for uh, hurricanes to hit the Tampa Bay area. I mean, they do. I, I think they get more tropical storms than anything. But by the time the hurricane gets there, it's just so full of water and everything. It just kind of fizzles out. And it's a lot weaker by the time it gets there. I don't think there was ever really a major hurricane in the Tampa Bay area in quite a long time. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a second video for the day. Um, I'm going to try to be posting again every week. Uh, video will be launching on Sundays. Um, other than that, Everything's on schedule. We're going to be splashing after hurricane season. Um, and hopefully I'll be getting videos on the boat because, uh, I mean, it, it's right around the corner now. So other than that, you guys stay safe out there and stay salty. Cry when you're gone, gone